so I am back. I am in Edible Wonders Color Art, and it was a book put out, gosh, a couple years ago, I guess, and clearanced by Walmart. I just, there's things in it that I find I can teach from easily, so even though it's not readily available, it's the one I've picked for these. Now, I am going to use Palm Leaf. This is Crayola Brand. And then Jade Green and Olive. Okay, so I'm coming in here and I've just done this whole area in my lightest shade. So whatever three colors you're picking for cupcake wrappers, if that's what you're doing, then just do that center area in the lightest of your shades. That was palm leaf. Then I'm going to go to Jade Green. This is my medium or second shade. I'm going to come in a little in the corners, down the side, and then blend in, just getting lighter as we move our way towards that center. It's going to be a subtle change. You don't want a huge change. There, this side's doing a little better but you do want to be able to see the change happening. All right, so just coming in, and so I'm gonna come along this direction, and then just get smaller and lighter as I come in. Not keeping it even, that's how you're gonna keep from getting those lines. All right, so come on through there. And then also doing the circles, little small circles is going to help you with that. I'm going to be working in this book on and off some. So if you have a book that has candies or little treats in it for the holidays, it's going to be a good thing to look in. Somebody did request that I do some glass containers or wine glasses, and I remembered that I had a book, changing back to the lighter shade, that I had worked in once before that had jars in them, like apothecary jars with candies and stuff. So I went and pulled that book out and I will get started in that next. Um, I just, I really am hoping that I can keep all this stuff free, but anytime y'all can donate a bit, I really appreciate it. It allows me to take time to sit here, going to the darkest shade, and being able to just take time off from other odd jobs that I do have to be able to sit in color for a few minutes here and there. All right, then I'm gonna come down just in those corner bits this is that darkest shade, so just in the corners and around there where there might be a slight shadow. Okay, we're wanting this to make it look rounded, so if you'll go darker at your corners and edges, it will make that reseed. Then I'm going to come back one more time with my lightest shade and come through here. I do use my lightest shade most of the time for blending instead of using a blender, a colorless blender. It allows me to add more color instead of moving around the color that's there. Now I'm going on to the cupcake itself. I am using copper, light brown, and beaver. So I start with the copper. Same thing as I did before. I'm going to come in here and get this whole center area. You can see I left white at the edges. So then my second color, which is my light brown in this instant. Now there's plenty of cupcakes on this page. So I'll probably do some more that are not necessarily chocolate. Maybe they're, I don't know, lemon or something. But 
but I just chose chocolate this time just to go ahead and get us started. And I will pan out when I am finished with this and show you the rest of the page because I moved ahead and did all the ones on the page this time instead of saving that till last so I can show you. All right, now I'm gonna come and I'm gonna move to the, my darkest shade, which is Beaver. You use whatever three shades you like, but I have to ask you, does this look better with that third color added here than over here? Okay? All you have to do is that little bit of extra and it can really help make your page. All right? It's not all that much, but it's just enough. And I think you'll see that there. Then I'm gonna come back with my lightest shade. I'm just gonna do one more pass through to help get rid of all of that white. Next, I'm going to do that frosting on top. And I looked at it for a while, and I thought, well, that could be a cherry, because those are probably cherries. And then I thought, you know what? I'm going to make that part of the loop in the top of the icing. I'm just going to decide it and go for it. So now this is pink, and I'm going to start in at the top. As you're coloring, see I didn't come all the way down to that line. I don't want to fill all the tooth in the paper. I want to leave that open for the next shade. Then I'm going to come down here, do this in pink. But I'm not going all the way down because this is fluffed up in front of this. So this would be darker to help push it to the back. And you'll see that more as we go along. Now, this piece is in front of this one. This one's in front of this one. So I'm going to bring in my pink and then leave room for the darker right there because it's tucked down behind. That's the main thing. You just got to kind of wrap your brain around what is in front and what is behind. Yes, it does come to me fairly simple, very easy, but I am a painter, so I've been painting that way for years. So I don't really have to stop and think about it that much anymore. Every now and then I'll get a hold of a piece that just doesn't look quite right to me, but for me it's almost second nature. Okay, so then my next color, that was pink. My next one is Tickle Me Pink. Yep, that's it. Tickle Me Pink. And these are all by Crayola. They're just basic Crayola pencils. So now I'm going to come down a little bit closer to that line. Same thing here. Coming down closer. In fact, let's just go ahead and go to the line this time. See how that makes it look like it's tucked back behind there? And then this. And it's back behind. And then this line right above it because it's tucked back behind, which means right above this line. And in that V, we can get this V sum too, and this one. Do a little bit more in there, and there. And then let's attack this V here, where this little piece is just kind of smushing out. Now I'm gonna come in with my third shade. It is Crayola also. These are all Crayola brand, and it's magenta. Yeah, this one's not written all the way down the side like all the others were. Now I'm going to do the bottom most part and do the V's. So this would be your darkest shade. And you can see I'm gripped down on this pencil pretty close 
because this time I am wanting that pressure. Go ahead and get that pressure in there. Get that color down on. And you're just doing even closer to that line each time. And then I'll do this right here. Okay, then I'm going to come in with the pink. They're just straight, regular pink. And just blend and make sure I got everything covered. And yes, if you like working with a sharp pencil, do that. I find that if I don't have a sharp pencil, it doesn't dip into my paper as badly. But if I'm doing little bitty spots, little bitty areas, then sometimes I will sharpen it up so I can get down in there easier. But see, there's still a little bitty bit of a tip on there. So if I stand this up, I can get it down in there. It's just then you can't see. Alright? So that's what that looks like. Now, when I pan out, so hold on because you know I'm going to make this camera shake. Come on. There we go. You can see I have all my cupcakes finished. I did finish up my peppermints. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. Yeah, it's very short, um, but I feel like we, we covered quite a bit in that. So you learned how to do circular. These are the flat and a little bit darker around the outside along with these. Okay, done the same way, and now we've done our cupcake. I'm not sure what we'll go on to next. We may go and do the glass containers or wine glasses, the apothecary jars that were requested. I've done those once before, but I may go ahead and do one of those again before I come back to this page. But stay tuned, because I am going to be getting to a lot of the candies and stuff on here through the next month as we go into the holidays. All right? All right, thanks for watching. Be sure and um, press follow down there. Go ahead and get registered or whatever it is you have to do so that you're notified whenever my new videos pop up. And thanks for watching. Okay, bye.